All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Coming to you live from uh, my couch, it looks like. But in this video, we're going to take a look at using the collection view or UI collection view in our application. And the reason why they're so important is they're basically um, all throughout the OS. If you look even at the home screen of your phone, the icon is an image and a label, and it's just a collection view on each row. The app store is a collection view, a whole bunch of them actually, and calendar, same way. They're all throughout. Very important, so let's hop right into it. All right, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into Xcode and create a new Xcode project. It's gonna be a single view application. We'll just call it collection view simple. And I'll call it simple because if you guys want, I'll make a more advanced version of this tutorial later on. But for now, we'll just hit next and create. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into our storyboard and we're gonna drag on a collection view. And then we'll span it the whole width of the view, like so. And we we're gonna click on the cell, the collection view cell. And we're gonna do a few things. So the first one is we're gonna set the identifier to cell. We then wanna drag in a label into that cell and just center it like that. Now over here, we want to right click and create a new file, Coco Touch Class, and it's going to be a subclass of UI Collection View Cell, and you can call it whatever, but I'll just leave it as Collection View Cell for now. Click Next and Create. Then we're going to go back into our storyboard, click on the cell again, and actually set the class to that Collection View Cell. Now we want to click on the label, open up our Assistant Editor, make sure we're in our uh, collection view cell, not the view controller. And then we want to control drag from that label and we'll call it um, something like my label. And we'll just connect that. We'll close the assistant editor. And the last thing we need to do in the storyboard here is just click on our collection view and control drag to the top and just set our data source and our data grid. Alright, now that we have that set up, let's go to our view controller. And we're going to create a Array, so let items equals, and I typed this out beforehand just to save some time, but it's just an array, a hold zero through 30, basically representing a calendar is what I was kind of thinking. Um, so we need to call a few different functions to get the collection view working. But at the top here, actually, let's say UI collection view data source. And we also need UI collection view delegate, and that'll give us access to our methods for the collection view. So we need to say number of items in section, and we want to return items dot count. Next function we need is cell for a row or cell for item at index path, and make sure you click the UI collection view cell. So that's it, and then we can say let cell equals collection view. Dot dq reusable cell with identifier and the string is cell if you remember that's what we set it to and for and it's just going to be index path and then it's going to be of type um, collection view cell right here so collection view cell and we can say cell dot and um, by setting it as this collection view cell, that'll give us access to that my label. So cell dot my label dot text is equal to items index path dot item, and then we just want to return the cell like that. And then I guess the last uh, method we can implement here is did select item mat. And for now we can just print out a statement and we'll print the index path dot item. So let's set the simulator and let's run it. And it would help if I actually spelled this right. Alright, so as you can see here, um, 
our collection view loaded up here and it holds our array 0 through 30 and it's looking pretty similar to what a calendar would look like and if we click on one if we click on eight it'll print out the item 9 16 26 so there you go guys that's just the basic way to implement a collection view if you want to see a more advanced version with images and uh, different customization in the collection view so let me know in a comment down below and I'll get that version out to you guys soon. Catch you next time.